you rush? <laughs> you should if you don't. Hi! Hands together, head bowed. Welcome. This is the patch from Planet Pluck. This is a video to help with a certain thing that um, we've gotten reports from a handful of customers that some of the BPM ARP patches are not working. And the reason is because I updated Blue ARP before releasing this library and saved patches referencing that updated plugin. I didn't think there'd be a compatibility. There shouldn't be. But in some situations, for some reason, there is. And so if you're having this where you call up some of the BPM ARP patches and it says Blue ARP and you go to play it, and it doesn't work, then we need to help you get that fixed. And it's not that hard. Unify has its own discrete plugin folder where it keeps these plugins. So I need to show you how to find that. I'm going to pop up on the screen so you can see the standard location, Mac right here, Windows right here. That's the standard locations. You will find this. There's a quick way to find this going over here to the plugins. Scroll down and find Loud Max, which is right here, Loud Max. And if you right click on this plugin, show folder containing plugin, right? And by doing that, it will open up our VST folders, you can see. And right here is the Blue Arp folder, and here's the Blue Arp VST. So you go over here to graywolf2004.net. And that will get you to the place where you can go download Blue Arp. And 2.3.7 is the latest version right here. You download. You only need the VST2 version, not the VST3, for this to work. So it's just VST2 for OS X or VST2 for Windows. Download, unzip, open that folder, take this Blue Arp that's in the Blue Arp folder, and Sayonara is take Blue Arp x64 vst not the blue arp dot vst that's the 32 bit don't want that one the x64 put that into the folder and close this close this these can now go into the trash and now when i call up patches when you call up patches that say blue arp they will play all right let's load a couple of these up let's say unify There you go. All right, so it's that simple. Just straight ahead, go to that folder, replace the old VST with the new version, and that will get the patches to work, okay? That's it, simple, short, see you later.